For academic textbooks, uh, I have to make a slight confession. I don't own any of the books which I'm going to talk about. The reason for this is that my college library at Oxford had all the books. In fact, they had several copies of all of these books, so I never had to buy them. So if you're interested in doing a physics degree which has that kind of advantage, then you know, you might want to check out doing physics at Oxford. A little plug for you. Okay, so the first textbook which I'm going to recommend is Riley Hobson and Bence's Mathematical Methods in Physics and Engineering. This is the maths bible. Um, I had a copy of this continuously out from my college library for my entire degree. It's about a thousand pages long, it's, it's a big chunky book, and it contains pretty much all the maths you'll need to know in an undergraduate physics degree. It's like a one-stop shop if you have a particular um, problem which you're coming up with that you just need to remind yourself of something, or you need to look something up, then this is the book you go to. It's the one maths book which I would recommend everybody who's doing a physics degree gets or takes out of the library. There's questions at the end of every chapter to um, test yourself, and answers are provided in a separate booklet to all the questions, but odd-numbered questions have answers provided at the back of the textbook. If you're looking to get ahead before a physics degree starts, this is the book I recommend you look at, particularly if you look at the chapters up to and including partial differentiation, you'd be doing very well. Next, a physics textbook, Blundell and Blundell's Concepts in Thermal Physics. Now, I was lucky enough to be lectured by one of the Blundells, and uh, he was probably the best lecturer I've ever had. And the textbook um, is basically like being lectured by him in print form. It's incredibly accessible, he makes the concepts very simple. The book covers thermodynamics, kinetic theory and statistical mechanics. And at the end of the textbook there's a couple of chapters on particular applications of thermodynamics. For example, um, bubbles, uh, thermodynamics of stars, and there's a chapter on climate change. All the other thermodynamics textbooks which I've looked at um, have seemed very dry and uh, boring by comparison. It seems to be a textbook which not many people have heard about outside of Oxford, but I really think it deserves to become like kind of the new standard thermodynamics textbook. Again, comes with questions at the end of the chapters, and I find very compellingly it also has biographies of uh, particularly important scientists at the end of every chapter. So you have like a one-page biography of people like Maxwell, Einstein, um, Dirac, which I find kind of humanises the science. In a way, maybe that's why the book seems so accessible, because you're reminded that the science was done by people, not just appearing out of nowhere. Next, something of a wild card, Steve Roman's Introduction to Linear Algebra with Applications. Now, this is a book which I don't think anybody else that I've talked to uh, on my course had used, uh, and I found it sort of skulking in the back of my library. But I really struggled with linear algebra in um, my first year course, and as soon as I got this book, I completely changed my opinion of the subject. It actually suddenly became interesting. I could suddenly do it. The book um, really engaged me with the subject. It made me think I could do it, and then as soon as I thought I could do it, suddenly I could do it. The book's appropriate for, I'd say, a first year linear algebra course, possibly a second year linear algebra course, but um, no further than that, certainly. It's the kind of book which, if you're looking to possibly get ahead in a maths degree, this might also be useful to you. You can also pick it up really cheaply on Amazon. I looked and it was like a penny for a textbook, plus postage and packaging. No list of textbooks about physics would be complete without some reference to mechanics, so I'm going to go with Morin's Introduction to Classical Mechanics. I didn't use this textbook all of that much, uh, because again, I discovered it quite late in my first year, but it's a very odd textbook because it combines classical mechanics with for some reason, loads of limericks. Apparently it was written by some Harvard professor whose two principal pastimes were writing textbooks and writing limericks. But it contains classical mechanics, including Lagrangian mechanics, and I think it actually went much, much further than the scope of my first year course. It will probably be useful to you for an entire degree. Um, this is, again, quite a chunky book, uh, and much as I didn't read a, most of it, the stuff which I used was very, very useful, very, very clear, and, again, plenty of exercises to test yourself with. Lastly, to round off this list, I need to at least talk about quantum mechanics. Now, I'm going to split this recommendation into two, uh, to people who are mathematically minded and people who are more physically minded, like me. If you are mathematically minded, then the book, which is probably going to become your new favourite book of all time, is Dirac's Principles of Quantum Mechanics. This was a textbook written by Dirac in, in the kind of nascent stages of quantum mechanics, and um, it's utterly brilliant. It's written by one of the great masters of the theory, and I think in its like 200 odd pages there's not a single diagram. I don't think there's a single analogy. It's pretty much just maths. And if you think about quantum mechanics in a mathematical way, which is ultimately how the theory developed, um, it's supremely useful. It's, it's like a tour de force. Uh, and even though I'm not mathematically minded, I still find it absolutely beautiful to read. If, however, like me, you're more physically minded than mathematically minded, then I would recommend Quantum Physics by Gesserewix? I, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, this is a much more physical account of quantum mechanics. It um, shows you how to go through particular problems, grounding those problems in um, a physical context. 
um, and there's much less emphasis on the maths. It's kind of more evenly spaced out in terms of the formatting, which is one thing about Dirac, it's quite dense, um, which I find kind of intimidating when I'm reading a textbook. So that's it. Um, I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you did in the comments, or if you have any book recommendations of your own. Please feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments, and if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me do in the future, also leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.